Welcome to our video series for the CAT or Computer Application Technology PRAC exam from 2024 June, which is a supplementary paper for grade 12s, a great paper to go through if you are revising for your final exams. Just a reminder that there are links to the other questions in the video description as well as to the data file. So give this question a try, try it out by yourself and then come back and check out the way to do it for the questions that you struggled with. So let's get stuck into the final question, which is question seven. So it's a general question of about 15 marks and we're going to probably be working with a lot of files. So we're going to first find a folder. So if I come here to there, you can see the seven pix folder and do the following. Rename the Q71 image in the folder to lions. So let's go to this folder and you see there is the Q71. Obviously the picture of lions. You can just right click on it and rename it or you can just click on it twice with long gaps in between. And then we can just type, type that it's lion. I think it's lions because there's lots of lions in there. If I, if I look at the question, yeah, lions is the correct answer. We renamed it to lions and then change this folder to a compressed folder in your examination folder. So we want to change the folder. So normally I would just right click on the folder and then compress to a particular file. But when I do that, it actually creates a brand new file that is compressed. So I'm not going to do that. They said change the file. So it might be one of the properties of the folder that needs to be changed. So I'm going to right click on it and we'll go to properties. Let's check out the properties over here and see if there's anything about compression over here. I don't see anything over there. I don't think sharing or security or previous versions will make a difference. Customize doesn't have anything. So maybe it's under advanced and there, there you can see compress, compress the contents. So if I click on compress and click OK and then go OK. So we want to apply changes to this folder. Okay, yeah, you're okay. And now if I click on the properties of that folder and click on advanced, we can see that it is compressed. Okay, so I think that's what they wanted us to do when they said compress it, because they said change the folder to a compressed file. And then we're now gonna open up the seven reproduction worksheet, which I've got over here. And we're gonna work in question seven two. And we're going to use a spreadsheet feature to display a list of all the bear species where the reproduction in captivity is very easy. So we want all the bear species and we want very easy. So how do we know if there's a bear species? Well, I'm assuming the word bear, for example, is somewhere in the word. So I think I should make this into some sort of table where we can do some filtering in that. So I'm going to sit here and go select all of this data. And I'm going to insert a table. And my table does have headings, so I do want it to be headings. So yes. And so by doing that, I can now come here and use these filter options. And they said we just want the very easy in captivity. So we want only the words that say very easy. If I click OK, there we've got. And now we want the species that contain the word bear in it. So is there a text filter that contains? There maybe that's a good option. Contains contains the text bear. So I'll type in bear. If you bear with me for this, quick one, click OK. And there we go. We've got all the bears that are very easy. I think that's correct. I'm going to save that. I think that's done. So now we're going to go to 7.3, which is this part, I'm assuming, and use a spreadsheet feature to display the unique mating systems. So that means we need to remove the duplicates. So we've got all the data, but we need to find a way to remove the duplicates. So you could do it manually, but it might take you a long time. So let's select all the data. And let's see if there's anything about removing duplicates. It's normally under data. And I'm going to just move my mouse over here. Text to columns, flash fill, ah, remove duplicates. If I click on that, because I didn't select the heading, so I'm not going to say it's, I'm not, I want that value to be separate. I didn't select the heading, so let's keep it like okay. column A, go OK. And we've got 10 unique values. I think that is correct. Okay, so I'm happy with that. They're all unique. They look all unique. And so there we go. I think I'm going to save that. So I just used that remove duplicates option that's over there under data tools. And then we must work in the 7.4 sheet. So let's go to 7.4 and use a spreadsheet feature to modify the dates that appears as in the screenshot below. Okay, so if I look over here, what is it that they want? They want, ah, there's a max. So the, the max value of there is a 10. I think this looks like a subtotal feature. Note the sorting applied. They give me a hint. Note the sorting applied. It's sorted according to what? Is it it's sorted according to species? Take note, it's sorted according to species. And we grouping it by the different reproduction in captivity if it's difficult or easy. So this is a subtotal option. So if I come to the data, we're going to select all this data over here. 
select it all and we're going to come to the subtotal which is on the data there's a the subtotal i'm going to click on subtotal and so what do we want now we don't want each change of species we want each change of reproduction which i think we actually need to have sorted it by reproduction first if i do that and we want to add let's just test this we want to add a max on the max value so we want the max value and we want to max the max value if i click ok it doesn't do my data very nice i think i'm going to undo that i think we actually have to first sort it according to we've got to get them in the groupings so let's first get them in the groupings according to difficulty so we're going to first sort it i'm going to use a custom sort because i want it sorted by reproduction you can see it's the d then and then I want it sorted by the type of the animals. I'm actually going to do both sorts. So sort first by reproduction and then add by the species. If I do that sort, so we've got all the difficulties, we've got all the easy. I think that's a good start. Now we can select it. That's because of the note, the sorting apply. They were giving us a hint there. Now we can go to our data, add the subtotal and we want at each change so we want once this changes then we want to have our summary so that's definitely the change on the reproduction we want a max we want the max on the max marks so let's try that click ok so our data looks very similar with the, the type of animals we've got difficult max which is what we got over there and then we've got a 10 there under max marks and then i'll go further down under easy easy max is seven so that's the the max value under the max over there so i think that is the subtotal that they want looks like everything is in order so i think that's the four marks we're going to save it and yeah we've done that one now i can close this i think that's the last one for this one now we're going to move on to 7.5 we're going to open up the word process 7 access file and we want only members who join the zoo membership program in the year 2000 to the end of 2020 will receive gold status cards use the database to create a merge document for only those members who qualify for gold status and replace the text name soon okay so we're going to do a mail merge over here so the first thing we're going to do is we need to connect it to the access database so we're going to come here to mailings and we're going to start the mailings this looks like it's a card i don't think it's anything like envelope so let's just do it as letters and we're going to select our recipients and we're going to use an existing list if you remember correctly it was the mem7 access database i'm going to open that and they specify that it's only the members who joined the program in the year 2000 to the end of 2020 so if I go here, we're going to edit the recipient list. Now you can see, if I look across to the date, the date they were joined. We only want those in the program in the year 2000 to the end of 2020. So that means we're going to do some sort of filter. And we are looking at the date joined. And the date joined must be greater than equal to the year 2000 onwards. Which means, what's the first day in the year 2000? So we would say 2000, the first day would be the first of the first. So it's greater than that date. I know the data looks like that, but let's first try that. And at the same time, I wonder if there's actually a between there. No. So we're going to end at the same time, the date joined must be less than equal to, and they can go up until the end of 2020. What's the last date in 2020? For those of you who don't know, that would be the 12th month on the 31st. So it must be greater than that date and at the same time less than that date so it'll be in between they click ok looks like we've got the data that we want i'm happy with that so we've only got data in the year 2000 to the year 2020 so i'm gonna click ok so we've done that part we've done the connection and now we just need to replace name surname id number so name is now going to be replaced by we're going to insert a field the name and then put a space and then surname is going to replace by surname and then id number I'm assuming will be replaced by ID number. So there we go. And let's preview our results. So there we've got our details. I think that's correct. And so let's go finish and merge. If I'm correct, complete the mail merge and save the merge document as seven merge. So the new document is going to be seven merged. Ignore if a blank access card displays at the end. Okay, so that's a note that probably might happen. So let's go merge, edit individual documents. So let's first save this part. We're going to save this and then we're going to merge all the records and so looks like we've got like 38 records here 
I go down. Oh, they did say there was going to be a blank on the last page, and there's missile worry, but I've got 38. So this we need to save this as seven merged in our exam folder. If you don't save it in your exam folder, you're not going to get marks for it. So we're going to go file, save as. We're in our exam folder. So remember, we must save it as seven merged. Seven merged. Save it. And check in your exam folder. Have I got, there it is. So it's in my exam folder. It's there. I've saved it. I can close it, I think. So I'm going to save it. And then the original one, remember to save that and close that as well. So there we go. I think that's done. Well done, everyone. I hope this paper has been useful. If you need more practice, don't forget to go check out the YouTube channel and go check out the playlist tab. There you'll find other exam papers that you can practice. So if you use this for exams, good luck. I hope it goes well. As we said, that channel is Atmos Long RT and Cat for your paper one help. For paper two help, go to Atmos Long Computer Terms. Subscribe to all the channels that will help you for your exams, as well as on TikTok, Atmos Long Education. And remember, don't do it the long way. Do it the Mr. Long way.